Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of old sheet music. I'm your host, Nicholas Carroll. Today, we are looking at Children's Festival, a uh, little suite for piano by Octavio Pinto. It does have five movements, prelude, minuet, little march, serenade, and playing marbles, which <laughs> I think is funny because... The rest of the movements are all actual musical styles. Prelude, Minuet, Little March, Serenade. And then all of a sudden, the last one has a title, Playing Marbles. So I think that, that bit's a little amusing to me as a composer. And here we have some pretty wild drawings of the children being various things. Uh, so you can see those pretty clearly, I think. A little dark, but I think you can see them. This is a G. Shermer publication. Clearly, it is intended for piano lessons. On the back here, it tells me these are fine old tunes for the young pianist. And it is published in 1939. One interesting thing we have here is some handwriting in these that somebody had written. Um, I'm trying to read the handwriting here. I think that says something in count. It looks like it starts with an H, so I'm trying to figure out what that is. Uh, some sort of admonition that the student wasn't, I guess, playing the right rhythm, I, I'm assuming, by count, but I'm not sure what this word is. So... There's that. And then at the top of this page, we have something that says, For Federation, no repeats. So clearly this would have been something someone played for a Federation of Music test of some kind uh, at some point. Which I think is uh, funny because there isn't... There's only one repeat in it. So when it says no repeats, I'm not sure what they're going for there. Uh, the second page here, we have the Little March, which this is also has some handwriting here. Oh, I think it says H alone, so that would mean hands alone. I can read it a little more clearly on this page, but now that I see this one is written more clearly, I'm pretty sure that's what the other one was supposed to say, too, hands alone and uh, count. Now, this one has HA for hands alone. That's more the standard abbreviation that we would know h dash alone it looks like one word i thought it said hollow and i was confused with that so <clears throat> there is all these movements i'm going to play most of them the last one is a little bit interesting to me in its style like we said playing marbles because not only does it not have a specific genre of piece like a minuet or a prelude it is um very different looking. It looks more, a good bit more challenging than the other pieces that are in here. Uh, and it has a glissando that's written out like a tremolo, which is a little bit weird there too, even though it has a tremolo symbol, it has a glissando written. So I guess I will play it as a glissando, even though that's not really how you normally notate that. So I don't see too much else here. I couldn't find anything about the composer. Uh, I, I looked that up and I couldn't find anything about them. So I'm assuming that maybe it was a pseudonym. Like we said on a couple other videos, there are a lot of composers who use pseudonyms when they made educational pieces. Or um, like we talked about in the, uh, the Guild of St. Louis Music Club or whatever it was called. Um, they wouldn't put the name of the composer because it was a collaborative effort. So perhaps, you know, this being that it said something about the Federation, there are these like uh, piano tests. Rural Academy of Music still does this um, where you can make your students take like a test in front of like examiners to, to prove they can play their piece, I guess. Um, it's not really something I personally as a, as a teacher support. Um, because I don't like to, to make piano seem like it's this um, competition or that you have to prove, you know, you could play this. It's like, if you can play it, you can play it, you know. But 
that's neither here nor there. Point being that perhaps this Octavio Pinto was a was a pseudonym for somebody else, or um, you know this was specifically made by a, a teacher who didn't want his students or her students to know it was them who wrote it um, because they wanted to send them to the to the test and they didn't want them to know like I'm the one who wrote the piece that I'm judging you on because that kind of gives it away that this is kind of like not as prestigious or not as important as we're trying to make it out to be, which is a common tactic when you're using a pseudonym that you want people to to not know it's you, so they, you know, gives it more credibility uh, than if you would just say it was you. So, here we go. The first one here is Prelude, then we got Minuet, and then we got Little March, and then Serenade, and then Play Marble. So I'll play them all in order.
Children's Festival. A few comments. I thought the first few pieces were pretty standard teaching pieces, like the prelude. I thought it was an effective prelude. I thought the minuet was a fairly effective minuet. It taught, uh, you know, different different sections. It had the waltz form. It had some part playing uh, and finger independence. So perhaps that's why that's the one they had chosen for the Federation. I would have probably chosen that one to be the best amongst this uh, collection also. I thought the little march was a little bit a little bit strange overall. There were several sections that had I don't know how well you can see this. I know my camera won't focus if it's too dark there. But it has some like optional notes. So if you see these, there's like a big bold note and there's a smaller little note. That indicates that, you know, if it's someone with a smaller hand or if they're just not able to reach that far, or if they're not advanced enough, you could play this song only with the top or the bolder, bigger notes. I did use all the notes, um, but I thought that some of them were really kind of strange. Tonality-wise as well, didn't really stay major minor, kind of was a little bit cacophonous. I thought that was a little strange for a little march, uh, being that the picture of it is kind of like your standard little kids dressed up like soldiers. It really didn't sound like to me. It sounded kind of like uh, experimental, I guess. And then the serenade especially I thought was that way. We have this literally the entire time that left hand was the same exact thing. And the thing is right here we have the key of a uh, three flats which is E flat major or C minor and uh, even though you would think it would be C minor it has a D flat added every single measure so it's really like not actually in the key that it's indicated. Like, I'm not sure why they wouldn't have notated it that way. But then in the right hand, you have this completely different theme. No D flats added, so it is in C minor, whereas the left hand is actually more of F minor, but it's strange because then it mixes them together and it really didn't sound very nice. I mean, yes, my piano is very out of tune. I have not tuned it in a long time. But that is not why it sounded the way it did. You know, it was just, it was very strange. This is a really weird piece for a serenade. Usually they're prettier. Um, and uh, this doesn't really seem like that. Especially since it's a child's piece, you would think you'd be more melodic and less kind of like uh, alternate tonality. So I wonder what that really is about. And especially on playing marbles, I thought that too. We have this long kind of downward movement. That makes sense, I guess. But then we had these, a lot of this unnecessary finger switching that they put in. And then this kind of weird pseudo chromatic part um, that it didn't really remind me of marbles. When I think marbles, I think you flick it, that would be like a staccato note maybe, and then as it rolls, maybe some some smooth notes. Um, but it really was just more of a scale passages kind of thing uh, with interval practice. It was actually pretty reminiscent to me of Cherny passage playing exercises, if, if you're familiar with those, uh, more than like a children's plain marbles piece, which is especially intriguing to me when you go back to my comment earlier about it is the only one that's not named a musical genre. You know, they could have called it etude or something, and it would have made sense to me that, you know, it was like this repeated thing that's teaching interval practice, but they call it play, playing marbles, even though the other ones aren't evocative names. So I think that's strange too. Anyway, Clearly, I wouldn't say I'm a giant fan of this. I think I would not have used this to teach with a child. I think I would have dismissed it kind of as not really quality because there's a lot of options out there and I wasn't particularly impressed with it. So, if whatever Federation of Music thought this was a great test to prove you're a great pianist in 1939, I would not agree. I don't think there's much else for me to say about it.
Sorry, Octavio Pinto.